chapter three, number six, you're gonna find the x-intercepts and the y-intercepts of the equation. I want you to understand that the x-intercept is something very interesting. The ends, the point for an x-intercept is always in the format of a comma zero, okay? Notice here is that it is when y is equal to zero, okay? That is the important part here. The x-intercept is when y is equal to zero because that is the point that it's always gonna be at. The y-intercept here, and we can write it here. It's always gonna be in the format of zero comma b, right? It is when x is equal to zero, and I'm gonna make this blue so you can remember it, okay? So this is the idea to keep in mind when you solve for all these problems, okay? Because here you can graph it, but it is better to use this property to do this, okay? All right, so let's do the x-intercept first here. So we're gonna let y become zero here. So 2x plus 3y is equal to 12. And then I'm gonna rewrite again, 2x plus 3y is equal to 12, all right? So this one, I'm going to erase and put the y as zero. Then this becomes just zero, right? Okay, leaving you with just uh, 2x. Okay, so you can just write 2x is equal to 12. Divide by two, divide by two, you get x is equal to six. So the y-intercept here the x-intercept here, it is six comma zero, and this is considered to be the x-intercept here. Here, this is when x is gonna be equal to zero. All right, so this two times zero is just zero, so it's just three y equals to 12. Divide by three, divide by three, you get y equals to four. So this is going to be 0, 4, and this is considered to be the y-intercept. All right? Okay. Let's do it again for b. All right? To save some time, I'm just going to rewrite the equation here and rewrite the equation here. All right? So this one, I'm going to set y equals to 0. solve so this becomes 3x is equal to 24 divide by 3 divide by 3 I get x is equal to 8 so this one this is when x is equal to 0 okay 3 times 0 is just 0 so it's just 6y equals to 24 divide by 6 divide by 6 get y is equal to, I think, four here. All right, so let's put it in the points format. So this is zero comma four because x was zero, y is four. This is considered to be the y-intercept. This is x is eight, y is zero. So this is considered to be the x-intercept, right? Next one, C, let's just grab the equation again. We're gonna have two of them. The first one, I'm gonna make x zero. Okay. And then the second one, oh, let me just finish the problem. Negative four times zero, it is zero. So you have eight y equals to negative 16. Divide by eight, divide by eight. Get y is equal to negative two. Right here, you take off the y, you put here as a zero. This gets you negative 4x is equal to negative 16. Divide by negative 4, divide by negative 4, you get x is equal to positive 4. All right, so this is 0 comma negative 2, and this is considered to be the y-intercept. 
this is 4 comma 0 this is considered to be the x intercept okay all right so there you go i think there's only three problems here yep there it is okay and always follows this format the x intercept is when y equals to 0 and the y intercept is when x is equal to 0